How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzzy. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day of another day. Of another day that we call Saturday. Anybody being safe, what's going to people? Hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this weekend and stuff. You know, um, I want to talk about something. There's a few things I want to talk to you about, but I'm only going to talk about one specific thing because there was quite a few different things that, you know, um, I was watching, you know, on YouTube and stuff. And it was a couple of things that kind of bothered me, but I don't want to rat on about a lot of things because, you know, with YouTube, it's, it's like an open forum for a lot of BS and a lot of attacking and, you know, but the thing about it is that when it comes down to um, the LGBT or the trans community or, you know, just gay and stuff like that, you know, this is my thing. I sit back and I watched a lot of videos and reference to a lot of people who transitioned back to what they, was, they once was before they transitioned. In other words, if she was born a female, she transferred back to male. Wait, she was born a female. She went back to being a female. Oh, she was before. Okay, let me see if this is is confusing. I'm gonna get sick. So if she was born in the body of a male, and she transitioned to a female. She don't want to be female. She wants to go back to being male. And as far as the trans man that was born in the body of a female, he decided to become a man and decided he doesn't want to be a man. He go back to being female. And as far as the person being gay, who doesn't want to be gay no more, he has been delivered, he's now straight. Okay. Hope I didn't confuse you, because that's not my purpose, that's not my plan. And it's not a way of attacking anyone, because that's not me, that's not my spirit. I do not attack anyone. You know, but to me, I'm like this. Live and live, live. You do you, if that's where you're at in your life, do it. I don't care. But when it comes down to me as far as that topic, as far as detransitioning and stuff. Okay, here we go. Work with me here. Now, you would say, well, baby, if, you de if I detransition now, I'm going to say, talk about myself. I'm not going to talk about the people that I'm, you know, I'm talking about myself. If I wanted to de detransition to go back to being what I once was, you know, as AKA born in the middle body, anatomy. What am I going back to? Just please explain to me. What am I going back to? Because this is my thing. I'm still going to go after men. I'm still going to be baiting men. The last time I checked, a lot of men still want me on top of their backs. Um, I'm not going to be called a trans, a trans woman. Okay, I'm, I'm alleged, well, alleged as far as the news, but I'm supposed to be known as a trans in a woman, so I will not be called, let's just, let's cut the BS, they won't be calling me a man, because it seems like the more you, you transition as far as your progress, as far as you getting really beautiful, whatever the case may be, they love to call you a man. So, you no longer will be calling me a man, I would go back to being a boy, so now you call me a faggot. <laughs> so, and, and you won't be calling me a um, when I, when I, okay, I'm transitioning back to being male, so now you call me a faggot, now you call me a girl. So now that I'm transitioning with the boy, you call me a girl, you call me a faggot. Okay. He, she's, whatever he's to be. Um, what am I coming back to? I just want to know what I come back to. Because the thing about it with me is that if they discriminated me before I transitioned, this discriminate against me now. So what if I left? Where have I left? Okay, we'll say this. Um... I make the different type of men. Yes, there is there are different different type of men, but I hate to say this, but the same type of men I met as a boy, the same type of men as a girl, and, and the most the thing about it that's different within me that I learned is that when you look like a boy, you're much more better of a disguise than being in trans. Now, as far as being trans and stuff like that, it's still more of a hmm maybe. But if you just stay a boy, they can still kind of like sneak you in, you know what I mean? But the thing about it, they'll call you their brother, their cousin, stuff like that. You know, they'll, they'll flip it over in that way because they feel as though people are not going to catch on to them. And the reality is that people could care less. And the thing about it with me, I feel as though 
If you want to be an artist or a singer or a writer or anything you want to be, there's always going to be somebody that's going to have to change who you are. And in order to stand in your truth, you have to stay strong in who you are. Whether you are a book writer or a woman or a man or a trans or gay or straight, there are women out here that are very beautiful and stuff like that. People find a problem with her and you're too fat, you're too thin, you're too skinny, you're too short, you're too tall, you're too this. And she has to stay within herself to stay true to herself because no matter what she does, there's always going to be a problem. And the thing about it is that it's a fair share thing. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I learned, you know, my thing is I'm not going to attack anybody. You know, but I watch people who transition back and they still got the same mannerism as far as they were doing before. Sure, you may have taken a wig off. Sure, you may not be um, that way anymore. But your mannerism says you never left. So where did you go? Because we're watching you and you seem to be the same person. Okay, you was a trans woman. You now no want to be a trans. You go back to being a man. But your mannerism is still acting like a girl. Okay, well, you know, Raven, that may take time for them to change. Listen. When you are true to you, you don't have to go back because you're true to you. Now, if you say, well, I'm going to do this because of the Lord and stuff like that. When you throw the Lord up, that's because society has beaten you down. Or maybe they just want society to beat you down. Because you're not really sure of who you are. Now, you were being who you are. You was being yourself. They had a problem with who you was. And you back down and you decided to try to fit into a world that didn't accept you. Wait, hold up. And you said, what's up? You listen. Let me tell you something. You could transition back to what you feel is going to be better. But I'm going to tell you, once you get there, you sit down, you get your feet all wet, they're going to have a problem with you again. Now, what do you want to do when they have a problem with you once again? Now, you did what they said as far as they threw the Bible in your face. They threw a lot of things in your face. And you said, okay, well, fine. Okay, fine. I'm going to back. I'm going to do what they said. Do. So now you did. Now you sit in that spot. Now you sit in that spot as your person that you're, the person that you didn't want to be, the person that you wasn't, but decided to sit you back down and set that little talk with you. And now you're that person. What are you going to do when they come to you again? Okay, now you done went back. Where are you going to go now? Because one thing about society, I'm going to tell you something. It's just never good enough. I don't care how good you are, how passive you are, how you try to help people, how you try to put out a positive message. There's always going to be somebody that's going to come for you. And don't be surprised if it's somebody from your LGBT community or your straight society. You know, it's always somebody that's going to have a problem with you. So where are you to go now? There was a guy who said he transitioned um, out of being, you know, he got the whole sex change stuff, but he transitioned back. He transitioned back because he couldn't deal with the truth of being who he was. Now, the thing about it, when you stand in your truth, you're going to have to do a lot of sacrificing, and you may lose a lot of things that you wanted. But at the end of the day, as long as you stand in your truth, you find another way. Now, if you are a white person and you transition and you used to those privileges and now you transition and now you just officially became black and now you know what it's like to be black because basically that's what's happening to you. You're like, oh my God, I'm going to write a book about this. These people are sick in their head. Oh, they're sick now because now you got a reality of what black people go through. You know, so now you're learning, this is really bad. I can't deal with this guy. So you wasn't perfect. That was white. And you lost all little privileges. Now you want to write a book and reference to the transgenders. And you want to attack them and say, well, they're messed up in the head. They need to go some type of therapy and stuff like that. But reality is that you couldn't deal with your truth when it was sitting in your face. If it was what you was, you would have never gotten married. You right, but I'm going to tell you what you could have done. Due to the fact that you sat inside of two of us like the be trans, you could have wrote a book on helping the trans people. You could have wrote a book saying, I'm going to show, I'm going to help y'all. Listen, I can't do this because this ain't really me. I figured I'd transition because it's going to be different for me. Because a lot of people transition 
for different reasons stuff like a lot of y'all are not really women and stuff like that you just transition because you're over women and some of them gonna piss you off and that's kind of you just want to start everything all over again and you want to do it all over again you want to start it over because you feel as though it'll be better and you find out that it wasn't better because it was never you it wasn't you see the thing about it when you are trans you're already doing girl things for anybody people point out to you what you're already doing but you don't even know what you're doing you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. They're telling you. Now, as far as the person that's never been trans or not trans, and someone come to point you out, you're like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you've been accepted by society, it is a big step to not be accepted anymore. You're going to panic. You're going to get upset. You're going to get scared. You're going to run back. But what you could do is try to get the message out there as far as helping your sisters. Now that you learn what it's like for them, they go through, you can say, well, I'm going to help y'all. I, I couldn't do this, but I'm going to tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to try to start something up to try to help you make things much more better for you. I'm going to try to go find a type of program that can help you check with your searches and stuff like I had in, in mind. But you don't do that. You want to go back to society. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I couldn't deal with it. Y'all yeah, all right. They need some type of treatment and stuff like that. Because you were never that way. And that's the thing about it. People want to join the team, but everybody can't join the team because you were never really on the team. But you can't deal with that. So, so what, what you do is you go out and you write a book and reference to them and basically shun them down instead of you empowering them. Now, due to the fact that you walked inside of their shoes, you should be much more as far as a helpful hand for them, but you're not. See, the thing about it that I learned with a lot of people, they don't understand. When you have been rejected by society, you have nothing to lose. But when you're the kind of person who has privileges, and I'm not talking about just white, I'm talking about male privileges, and you become trans and stuff, and you've never been used to this type of life, it's very new to you. And you don't know how to deal with it. And I'm not saying everybody. But a lot of times you can't deal with it. So you kind of find a way to make it work. But when you've already been rejected, you have to make it work. Because it never worked for you in the front door. You know, and my thing is, I don't knock anybody's train. If you decide you're not going to be there, don't do it. If you decide you don't want to be, if you're um, female to male, if you don't want to be there, don't do it. If you decide you was male to female, don't want to do it. Don't do it. If you say, I'm not gay no more, I'm, I'm straight, then fine. I have no problem with anything you said. But I do wonder sometimes, do you think that God is watching you when that really test comes around? And if you're going to pass it. Now, I watch many videos and reference a lot of girls, girls and guys who transition and I watch videos and I'm just looking at you. I'm looking at you. When you're broken spirit, it's easy for your soul to be stolen. Did you see what I said? When you're broken spirit, it's easier for your soul to be stolen. And once your soul is stolen, you become everyone else. But your spirit remained you. So the thing about it is that when you are in your truth and you will not be broken, stand in your truth. There's always going to be somebody to go against you, no matter what you do. You don't even have to be in the LGBTQ. Just be in reality. Everyone in this world who's tested, this is what happens. You have straight society who talks about, okay, the straight man. Mm -hmm. That talks about the transgender women. Oh, they out there, they're tricking. The, um, they're out there, they're tricking the men and stuff like that. But the thing about it with me is, you will do a blog on a transgender woman, and you'll tell me she's tricking them, and we get murdered, we get killed, and you know, you don't wish death on us, stuff like that. But, you don't take equally as long to talk about how your brothers are cheating on their girls or their wife. You don't talk about how he going home and he beat the hell out of her and he hangs with you and you keep your mouth closed because you don't want to get in it. You don't go into a big rat rave on how you see the black brother out there killing the other black brother. You don't make that video that long on them. You don't get upset 
when you sit up there and you watch how the black women are being locked up behind a man and she's locked up and none of you brothers are coming to go see her in prison but yet still when you get locked up all the, the prison is packed with women coming to check upon you you don't talk about that you don't talk about how a woman tell another man when she's walking on the street no and he kill her and she wasn't trans you don't talk about that you don't talk about the fact that a woman buried your child and you have nothing to do with the child and she's raising it by herself the best way she can but instead of you calling her the woman you replace the word you call her a thot, a hoe, a bitch, a dude, a man but you don't talk about that but I tell you what you will do you'll make a whole long blog on a trans woman how she's tricking people she's doing all these deceitful things oh but better yet you don't talk about your brother who's fucking them transgenders how them transgenders are gathering how these transgenders getting all that money if they don't got no jobs who's paying for all these surgeries your brothers are your straight brothers that you think is so straight that's sounding off to you to my yeah 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 I'm telling you they're the same ones that's paying for what you so much feel as though they don't know about see the thing about it that I learned with a lot of guys you think that you telling them something but they already know cause while you just point them out they fucking them and 9 times out of 10 most times I learn with a lot of street guys there's always a trans woman that you kind of like, that you think is kind of pretty, so she gets the pay. Or oh, I respect her. You respect her? How much do you respect her? Has she been in your bed? Has her titties been in your back? But you know, you're not going to say that because when a female walks into the room, you're like, oh, oh, this is the first time I've ever been in running to places like this. Oh, she knows. She knows you lying. Who are you fooling? Why are you fronting? Why are you not upset that your brother's are high on drugs, getting high because he has a homosexual thirst and he can't share it with his male counterpart, counterparts because he's going to get put down and he's hard as hell. So what he do is he get on drugs. He beat the woman up on the street. He slap her. He hit her. I don't see you making videos saying, oh, I stopped this guy from fighting this girl, but you will hit the cameras for play. And you'll post it and you'll put a comment at the bottom saying, oh shit, where you at? Where you at then? But you will make a video about a transgender woman being murdered and you will make a video about her tricking them. Because men don't know what a transgender woman is. You'll take out time to do that. But you won't sit back and look out for the, all the black women out here who have sacrificed and raised many of these black men and women and watch her sit back and watch you hand it all over to another race oh race is not a problem race is not i don't give there's some and i don't care my thing is that i don't care about the race thing because i did it outside my own but i mean we're going to call it i'm going I, if i have anyone forgive me but i'm going to call the thing a thing every time a black man gets up on his feet and gets a lot of money not every black black man he hands it over to a white woman he knows that black woman is struggling there are some beautiful black women out here you can hand it to her you can hand it to her you can help her no i don't want her but you will do her weave her body she'll do all this stuff to try to be a presentable for you but you'll make a block and put it down that's what you do but you'll take out time you put down a transgender woman and I shot it to your brothers are fucking him. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to share this story with you and stuff like that. That went to the left, the last part, because I didn't want to talk about that. Because it just bothers me sometimes, you know what I mean? But I, I just over it. This internet thing drives me crazy. And I get so tired of this double standard type of thing when it comes to the transgenders, when it comes to the gay people. Everybody wants to sign on, attack the gay. Oh, they're the gay people, let's hack them. And I'm still the thing, y'all fucking them. You're fucking them. But at the end of the day, you want society to accept you, but you fucking them. You got one of them in your bed, one of them in speed dial. One of them that's in your damn phone right now, name is Mike, and it's Michaela on the damn um, other end. And she's a trans woman. 
but you're frightened on your peoples and your girl in your house. Anyway, with that being said, I just wanted to share this thing with you as far as transitioning. <laughs> and what do I get to lose? I get to lose nothing. Because the simple fact of the matter is that even if I did transition back, I'm still going to be with another man. It is what it is. I can deal with my truth. You can deal with your truth. And my thing is this. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, it must not be your business. Anyway, the being said, I just want to share this thing with you. And I would love to hear feedback on this. And I will let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the way. Anyway.